today we honor our common ancestor, Joseph Stevenson, and his ancestors. Joseph Stevenson was born October 19, 1787, at Barsby, which is a village in the parish of Ashby Folville in Leicestershire, England. He was christened in the parish church at Ashby Folville, October 21, 1787. Barsby is a chapelry in the parish of Ashby Folville, eight miles northeast of the city of Leicester, and six miles southwest from Melton Mowbray. It is in the eastern division of the Hundred of Goscote. A hundred is a geographical area sufficient to sustain 100 military men. Barsby had a population of 242 near the beginning of the 1900s. Ashby Folville is a parish containing 405 inhabitants, of which 162 are in the hamlet of Ashby Folville. The living is a vicarage in the archdeaconry and diocese of Lincoln, rated in the king's books at nine pounds. The church is dedicated to St. Mary. Parish registers originally started in 1538 but only those from 1653 have survived, which accounts for why some of our early ancestors cannot be found in the parish registers. Joseph Stevenson learned the trade of coopering. A cooper was a man who made barrels. He was engaged as a civilian and would be employed chiefly in the construction and repair of powder barrels. He was posted to Perfleet, in the marshes on the south banks of the Thames near Woolwich, where there were important powder works and large ordnance establishment. On May 23, 1808, Joseph was appointed to be a cooper at Gibraltar. On July 27, 1808, the officers of Perfleet recommended Joseph Stevenson to join a field train on foreign service. He took the stagecoach to Portsmouth, it is clear that he went with Sir John Moore's expedition to Lisbon and marched to Salamanca, Spain, and there took part in the terrible retreat to Corona, Spain, and evacuated by sea January 1909 to England. He survived the retreat but was laid up in bed for three months with fever. He then resumed his employment at Perfleet until 1816 and in 1817 was again appointed cooper at Gibraltar. While at Gibraltar, his pay was five shillings a day, about 70 cents. Gibraltar is a British colony situated on the Mediterranean Sea and on the south of Spain. It is only three miles long and one half of a mile in width, containing from 15 to 20,000 population mostly military men. It is mostly a solid rock and only suitable for a fortress. It is only seven miles in circumference, rising in the north 1,400 feet. Occasionally, the powder kegs had to be opened and inspected, which had to be attended to by the coopers. He purchased a residence and built a shop so as to employ his leisure time by working. He made a bass viol and played it in the Methodist choir. Joseph Stevenson met Miss Elizabeth Stevens at London, and in a letter dated 7 May 1812 at number 9 Love Lane, Rotherite, London, he told his aunts and uncles, I am under engagement to be married. They were married June 28, 1812 at St. Saviour's Cathedral in London. The cathedral is Gothic in design and is from the 13th century. It is located close to the London Bridge and was the object of air raids during World War II, but escaped serious injury. Elizabeth Stevens, the daughter of Samuel Stevens and Sarah Smith, was born at London, being christened at St. Paul's Cathedral. The records have been destroyed, which established her exact date of birth. The Early Church Information Index lists her birth as 11 August 1788, and another card lists 1787. 
The 1850 census of Utah shows her age as 57. As the census was taken before her birth date in August, that would make her birth occur in the year 1792. The 1870 census gives her age as 79, which would make her birth be in 1790. Her obituary, written by Edward Stevenson, gives her birth date as 11 August 1788. Her official record of the church, the Temple Index Bureau, gives her birth as 11 August 1792. On October 30, 1827, Joseph Stevenson petitioned the Board of Ordnance for a transfer to North America. His petition was received by the Board of Ordnance in London on November 29th, and a draft reply on the back is dated December 3rd, 1827. The Master General desires that Joseph Stevenson may be informed that there is no vacancy in Canada and that the ordinance cannot be at the expense of transporting him and his family in expectation of his being employed there. The family of Joseph Stevenson sailed for America on the ship Canning of Kingston in May of 1828 and arrived at the port of New York July 18, 1828, being 60 days crossing the Atlantic Ocean. They located first at Brooklyn, New York, but soon moved to Albany, New York, where Joseph carried on the coopering business for a few years. He took the oath of allegiance, and the family became American citizens. About 1830, they moved westward over the Erie Canal and lakes to Detroit, Michigan, and then 24 miles north to Pontiac, Michigan, where he purchased 240 acres of farmland. The deed for 80 of the acres, dated July 9, 1831, shows that they paid $200 to Daniel L. and Nancy Judd. The last deed signed by Joseph Stevenson while he was still alive was dated August 30, 1832. Joseph Stevenson died in September or October of 1832 and did not live to hear the first missionaries preach January 7, 1833. The first missionaries were Jared Carter and Joseph Wood. Joseph's wife, Elizabeth Stephen Stevenson, accepted the message of the missionaries and was baptized in 1833. In 1836, she gathered with the saints at Richmond and Liberty in Clay County, Missouri. Soon after this, along with other church members, she and her family were driven by the mob from Clay County to Caldwell County, where she suffered the persecutions and mobbings of Missouri. She was forced from her home and with many of the saints found shelter in the military barracks at Montrose, Lee County, Iowa. In 1846, she moved with the saints to Winter Quarters, Nebraska, and the following year crossed the plains to Salt Lake City, where she lived and died a faithful Latter-day Saint. With a strong hope of a bright future, the day before her death, she sat at the table at breakfast and walked around the house. She went peacefully to sleep without a single struggle. Elizabeth died March 20th, 1873, and was buried March 22nd in the Salt Lake City Cemetery. Joseph Stevenson was baptized by proxy in the endowment house September 21st, 1868, and again January 11, 1871. He was endowed in the Logan Temple September 2, 1885, and also November 1, 1975, in the London Temple. Elizabeth Stephen Stevenson was endowed in the Nauvoo Temple February 3, 1846, and two years prior to her death was sealed to her husband in the endowment house January 11, 1871. Joseph Stevenson was the son of Edward Stevenson and Elizabeth Marriott. Edward Stevenson was christened March 28, 1745 in the parish church at Ashby Folville. His occupation 
was farming. The marriage bands for Edward Stevenson and Elizabeth Marriott reads as follows. The bands of marriage between Edward Stevenson and Elizabeth Marriott, both of this parish, were published in the parish church of Ashby Foval, and on three separate Sundays, namely on November 17th and 24th and December the 1st, no one forbidding them by me, John Carr, vicar of Ashby Foville, Edward Stevenson and Elizabeth Marriott, both of this parish were married in this church by bands this eighth day of December in the year 1771. This marriage was solemnized between us, Edward Stevenson, and the Mark of Elizabeth Marriott in the presence of Robert Walton and John Frank indicates that Elizabeth was not able to sign her name. The marriage entry itself for the year 1771 reads, Edward Stevenson and Elizabeth Marriott, by bands, December 8th. The will of Edward Stevenson, dated April 29, 1797, is as follows. I, Edward Stevenson of Barsby in the county of Leicester, being weak in body but of sound and perfect mind and memory, praise be God for the same, do make and ordain this my last will and testament in manner and form following. That is to say, first and principally, I commend my soul into the hands of Almighty God, my Creator, hoping through the merits of Jesus Christ to obtain pardon and remission of all my sins and to inherit everlasting life. And my body I commit to the earth to be decently buried at the discretion of my executors hereafter named. And as to the worldly goods and temporal estate wherewith it has pleased God to bless me with in this life, I give, devise, and dispose thereof in the following manner. I give and bequeath to my beloved wife, Elizabeth Stevenson, all my household furniture of every sort, and my linen, for and during the term of her natural life, and from and after my said wife's decease, I give and bequeath said household furniture and linen amongst my children in such form and manner as my two brothers hereinafter appointed as trustees to manage and direct my worldly affairs or their heirs, administrators, or assigns may order and direct. All the rest, residue, and remainder of my estate I give to my two brothers, Thomas and John Stevenson, in special trust and confidence. My two brothers aforesaid, or their administrators, will take the management and direction of my worldly affairs under their care for the use of my beloved wife and family, and that they from time to time direct the management thereof, and expend the whole produce and the income arising from such management in such manner as may seem best to them, for the maintenance, education, and settling of my said children in the world. And my will and desire is that they, my two brothers aforesaid, will manage and direct my affairs for the use and benefit of my beloved wife and family in the same manner as if they were their own. Signed, Edward Stevenson. And I hereby utterly revoke all former wills, confirming this and no other to be my last will and testament, written upon two sheets of paper, in confirmation of which I have to the first set my hand, and to the second my hand and seal this twenty-ninth day of April, 1797.